hello guys welcome back to the channel i'm your host tagu joseph so in this video i'll be sharing with you how i was able to achieve this fly design in adobe photoshop this if you are coming across the channel for the very first time this is a graphic design channel do well to smash the subscribe button to join the community and turn on the post notification bell to get post notification whenever i upload new content and for our return subscribers thank you for always watching so the first thing we have to do here is to create a new canvas on which we'll be designing on and i have to click on new file so here we'll set our canvas as follows. Units will be on pixels to be precise. 1080 by 1350. We are creating a design that we use across social media. 300 is the resolution. Column mode is set on RGB. And afterwards, you can choose to give your project a name, a party. And if you are done, you can click on the create button. Here we have the canvas on which we'll be designing. And the next thing I would like to do is to bring in the resource files I'll be using to create this design. So here are the resources I'll be using to create the design. Do have to check the video description. You'll find the link to all these resources in the video description. So I'll start with creating of the background. And the first thing I'll have to do here is to first uh, scale down the size of this. Okay. Uh, by hitting Ctrl T and scale it down. Ctrl J to make a duplicate. And all you have to do is right click and flip horizontally. Then you drag this this way. Make sure it laps with this. If you are done, select both layers. Select the first layer, hold shift, select the last layer. Right click and uh, click on convert to smart object. Hit Ctrl T to transform it out and scale it out properly. This way, like this. Okay, you can scale it out furthermore, like this, and make sure this is well aligned, like this. So if you are done, hit the check button. So I'll fit this to screen. So the next thing I'd like to do here is to basically create a solid fill uh, layer. Turn off this, head over to adjustments, create a solid fill, and here is hex code to the color you are actually using over here. Click on OK. The next thing I like to do is to enable this layer and change the blending mode. So I like to change this blending mode to a blending mode of uh, color dodge. And the next thing I have to do here is to add a layer max to be precise. Set your foreground to black and uh, pick your brush tool and make sure you are working with uh, the soft round brush the hardness should be on zero okay so here we we'll make sure the opacity and flows should be on 100 percent respectively select your max the foreground should be set on black then scale up the size of your brush using the open and close square bracket key beside the p button and just brush out like this okay that is in terms of that the next thing we'll have to do here is to add more depth to this uh design so how do we go about that i will have to uh basically move ahead by working with uh, this image originally this is the original look of the image we have here i made use of an ai tool to actually upscale that if you want to learn how to upscale that you have the video popping up by the top right hand side of your screen right now click on it and you learn how to scale up an image with the platform okay so here is the image I have here. I've already worked on it using the AI platform. Right click to convert to a smart object to maintain resolution control T to scale out and fit it into your canvas like this. Okay, you can scale it out furthermore and set it into your canvas this way like this. So if you are done, you hit the check, add more depth to this image. Uh, we'll head over to filter. And apply a camera raw filter so over here on the camera raw i'll enable the before and after so that i have a good preview i'll start with the basics to be precise and working with the exposure so i'll scale up the exposure to around this likewise uh the contrast to around this this is more of an eyeballing situation there are no rules governing this you allow your eyes to basically guide you to know whatever you're actually doing okay so you let your eyes guide you and uh you are good to go. You make adjustments when need be needed. Okay, that is in terms of that. What else? Uh, the textures, I need to take it up. Take it up, take it up, take it up. Uh, clarity, as well, I need to take it up a little. Okay, scale this a little down. Okay, head over to details. So over here on details, I like to scale this up to around, uh, let me see. I think around this is okay and scale this around this as well so after that you click on the ok button you can see before and after your image is now popping okay called see the help of your camera raw 
so after that i can still take this design a step further by adding uh some adjustments to this so to make this design pop rather i might need to uh, apply a layer style so i'll click on this i need to create a field of light reflection at the edges of this image so how do i go about that i work with my glues that is the inner glues and the outer glues so for the inner glues i'm setting this as follows opacity set on this noise is set as follows keep your settings as follows but this i actually sample this color from this okay i clicked on this and select a stronger saturation level of the color and set it yes hex go to the color click on ok and head over to inner glue as well you can see the reflection if i turn this off you can see the reflection around the body of the subject okay so i think we are done set this as follows as well no need of any hustle you can play with the sliders to understand how the basically works okay so click on ok afterwards so we have this this way uh, add the vector marks and uh, set my foreground on black i'm still maintaining the soft round brush i'll just take out some of these ends this way okay so i'm trying to take out this particular side of this image so just take it out slow and steady you'll get this okay so i'll take out the original copy of the image uh, moving on i'd like to add more depth to this how do i go about this add a curve adjustment to this image and click on the clip marks so that the effect will be solely on the subject image take down your highlight this way okay to around this and take it down this way hit ctrl i to invert okay by doing this we are hiding the effect i'll select my foreground to set it on white scale down the size of my brush okay i'm still working with the soft round brush then apply those effects around edges like this ctrl z scale down the size okay it shouldn't be too big you can just apply them gently on some of those edges as well okay that is in terms of that you do that slow and steady it is more of you using your eyes to understand that you need to make those edges stand out from the background okay that is in terms of that i can go for that by making a duplicate of the max or scale down the opacity to around let me see I think this is okay like this make a duplicate by hitting ctrl j hold alt in between this you have your mouse pointer having an arrow between these two layers when you hold alt creates the clipping marks okay so we have this looking like this so i can go ahead to select this and group them together select the first layer hold shift and group them i can call this uh, subject and we are good to go for this as well i'll need to add a new layer here so over here I hold alt okay i sample the color here hex the hex code to the color i'm actually using okay so all you have to do is you hold alt left click and sample this after picking your brush tool okay left click and hold alt hold alt left click to sample this make sure you are currently on the layer here okay scale up the size of your brush control the strength of your brush using uh scaling down the flows around this all you have to do is to apply this on this particular end this way uh, trying to create a feel of like an atmosphere flare on this particular image okay that is in terms of that after that you can go ahead to also create another layer directly above this so i create this new layer here hold alt sample the yellow from here all i have to do still maintaining the same uh, flow strength i apply a brush here apply a brush here apply a brush here all i have to do next is to change the blending mode to screen okay okay that is in terms of that for this i would like to change the blending mode for this to linear add okay so i'm trying to give it a feel of what we have in the background okay that is in terms of that so for this other end here at the base i would like to uh rotate this angle holding shift okay and uh after i'm done i'll have to change the blending mode to let me see what works perfectly well okay let me see okay with the moment i get the one that works perfectly well for me i go ahead and use it on my design okay that is in terms of that okay i can try to play with either this or this okay let me go with this 
scale down the opacity of this okay add a vector max here scale down the size of this and uh, set your foreground on black black enables you to hide what is visible here so i just brush out this end like this okay that is in terms of that if i need more depth from this i can make a duplicate by hitting ctrl g i have more of this over here that is in terms of that so the next thing i'll have to do here is to group this select this whole shift and group this and call this bg it basically stands for the background likewise this as well i can select this and this and group them together so that our layers will be more neat and organized so i can call this uh let me see uh, adjustment okay that is in terms of that so i'll move to the next phase of adding more depth to this by adding informations that are needed about this event so over here i have this okay here is the uh, headline text of uh, the event so i'll place this around here so for this i basically make use of a font called the uh, feed feedless that's the name of the font check the video description you'll find that as well likewise this i made use of gotham for this particular text i still need to make a little adjustment to uh this particular layers here i like to change the blending mode to let me see i think this works and scale down this to around this as well okay i think this is actually helpful this way so i think uh, we are good to go so moving on the next thing i would like to do so i played with scale in terms of this to be precise and i made emphasis more on the title of the event okay and here is hex code to the color i'm actually using for this here is hex code to be precise that is in terms of that so next thing i placed in the logo of the brand okay i got this from uh, google and i placed it in here the date as well i made use of another font called nexa and i made contrast in terms of uh, this as well playing with uh, colors and scale to be precise that is one of the ways i play with contrast using this yeah i gave it a few colors the same yellow why this i made this a little bit lighter in terms of a font style okay the same font but different style family okay that is in terms of that also check the video description and find the link to the text likewise this as well i played uh, with the scale for that likewise this okay so i created space by creating room for proximity so that this proximity simply means placing uh, informations or elements together that had uh, common similarities that's why i placed the date and time close to each other the team and the organizer's name close to each other this and this the address and the venue close to each other so how do you balance that you balance proximity with the use of white space so you have to create space for them to stand out from each other that's in terms of that so i think the final touch i applied a color balance to this and over here in the color balance i play with the various tones starting with uh, the the mid tones i scale down this okay to this i also enhance this around this as well and uh, also this to around this as well so play with the highlight as well i'm trying to play with the colors okay for the highlights i will have to take this around this this as well increase it up to a little bit like this this as well also increase it again that is in terms of that so head over to your shadows what did i do to the shadows i boost them up a little in terms of cyan adding more of cyan okay here we have uh this as well here okay and over here we have this as well so that was how i was able to achieve this this is without this and this is with uh, the color balance okay so ladies and gentlemen you've come to the end of this video if you do find it helpful do it to like comment and share with other creatives around you and if you're a new subscriber or you're yet to join the community do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification to get post notification whenever i upload new content and for my return subscribers thank you guys for always which for always watching rather please if you have any questions let me know in the comment section as usual see you in the next